We're going to find the input and output relationship for this op amp circuit and we'll also illustrate the loading effects when using an inverting amplifier. So here let me draw the Thevenin equivalent looking from looking back from node B. So let me uh, copy this circuit here and we'll draw the Thevenin equivalent at the source part circuit. Okay, the Thevenin equivalent looking back from node B is considered as follows. Here our open circuit voltage is basically a voltage divider if we break this node right here. So it's basically VT plus and a minus. So VT is equal to R2 over R1 just using the voltage divider plus R2 in the denominator clean that up a bit times Vs and our Thevenin resistance RT is simply when I short this out we see a parallel combination R1 and R2 so what we have is RT is equal to the product of those two resistors in parallel R1 and R2 over R1 plus R2, the sum of the resistance. So that's our equivalent Thevenin resistance. Okay. Now this is an inverting gain, but we need to take into account RT plus R3. So in other words, we'll put replace our equivalent with RT plus R3. Now we note the relationship between VO and VT is based on the inverting amplifier gain, which is the ratio of the feedback resistor, R4, all over R equivalent with a minus sign. So that's equal to substituting our equivalent for RT we have R1 R2 all over R1 plus R2 this is our in our denominator plus R3 all over negative R4 but that's equal to R1 plus R2 times R4 there's a negative in here and that's just R1 times R2 plus R3 times R1 plus R2 times R3 R3 times R2 so that's our ratio of V0 and VT but we're asked to find VO over VS so we can go VO over VS is equal to VO divided by VT which we just found here and that VT over VS which we found from this circuit here okay using the voltage divider. So multiplying these two expressions, let me highlight that. This expression here and here and this one here for VT over VS, we have the following for our K. So that's equal to R1, R2 that is, over R1 plus R2. That's this expression here, VT over VS. And then V over VT is this expression, negative R1 plus R2 times R4, all over the same denominator, R1, R2 
plus R3 times R1 plus R3 times R2. We see the R1s and plus R2 cancels out. And that leaves negative R2 over R4 all over the same denominator R1 R2 plus R1 times R3 plus R3 times R2. And that's our final result. Let me clean this denominator out a little bit. And that's VO over VS, which is our constant in this example. So it is important to note that the overall gain is not the product of the source circuit voltage gain, R2 divided by R1 plus R2, and the inverting gain, negative R4 over R3. In this circuit, the two building blocks, shown in black here and in red, so we have, we need to take into account RT and put it as part of the input resistance for R3 plus RT as part of our overall inverting gain. So it's the ratio of R4 over R3 plus RT because we have to take into account the effects of the equivalent, Thevenin equivalent resistance at our source circuit.